Okay. When I listen to you, I think of, you know, this very trendy things of topic, topic instead of keywords. Aren't we talking about the same thing here? No, not topics instead of keywords. I think about user intent instead of keywords. So okay. topic instead of keywords might be, oh, I distilled down my keywords into a broader reach. Mm -hmm. I would say, do people even care? So say, um, let's say, let's say Uber, Uber does not do great SEO because it's not a, it's not a great use case for SEO. They do great SEO on Uber Eats because that's a better use case for SEO. Uber, the car service part of it is not a great use case for SEO because no one is like, oh, I, I just occurred to me, I have a flight in an hour. Let me go Google and see what my options are. Oh, look, Uber's number one. I'm going to take Uber, right? And that's not really the, the path to conversion there. So maybe as a topic, you might say, oh, airport rides is a topic instead of uh, airport to airport or something like specific names of airports is the keyword. But if no one's looking for that topic, if you can't really justify the why, then I wouldn't say it's a topic. Yes, it, topics is the way you might approach the intent rather than keywords, but I'd say it goes far deeper than that. Really holistic strategy around, is this something that anyone is even looking for? If they're not looking for, the topic doesn't matter. Okay, thank you for that. Uh, lots of people are rushing onto topic clusters and pillar pages and things like that. But it's true that at some point you said, I don't, ha I don't really have any relevant topic related to what I sell that's going to lead me to some, some sort of growth through online. The problem I have with that, especially pitching some customers, is that all of them think that since every, each of us search, they have to be online and to rank for something at some point. And it's extremely ex complicated to explain them that ranking, as you said, is not always strictly related to SEO. So one way to avoid SEO would be to build a brand and to be like known enough, even if it's a very niche industry, like for people to type directly your brand. But you mentioned also in the book that branded search should not be a focus for SEO. So I'm a little bit lost. <laughs> can, you, can you help us see clear more about this? I didn't say branded search should not be a focus for SEO. It's not going to be the place that when you're investing in SEO, you really want to focus. So uh, it, that's right. I, I'm that, sorry. That's yeah, what's so more, more specific. I'm sorry for that. It's low hanging fruit. So you don't <laughs> want to ignore branded search. And actually when I, I coach individual SEO managers. And that's something that I do is I work with individual SEO managers who typically don't report into someone that understands SEO and they want to, mm -hmm. these SEO managers want to improve on their careers and grow. I, I layer in to help them to do that. And when I coach them, I tell them always to take credit for the branded search because yes, they may not have generated that branded search. However, find me a paid team who does not include branded clicks in their campaigns. They're saying, oh, we, we spend $10 million a month overall, and here's our ROI, when most of those campaigns are going to be like 80% branded. So why would an SEO manager come in and say, well, I've generated 10 million clicks, organic clicks this month, um, but nine and a half million of them were branded, so that wasn't to my credit. Don't give me a raise. Don't give me a bonus. Don't even keep me. Just fire me, right? Like, that's crazy. <laughs> take, take credit for it, but you can caveat it with, well, it was mostly us showing up. Now, I've seen many companies screw up their branded search. So the SEO team keeping the branded search and growing the branded search is great, right? That's easy revenue to have. And you should do branded search for some, business, for some businesses. All they should do is branded search. However, non-brand is where your upside is going to be. So the way you think about this, and I've worked with a number of companies where they had a branded search was all they had. So say they have 90% of their search traffic is branded their brand, the rate of growth of their brand is only going, or the, brand, the rate of growth of the branded search is only going to be at the rate of growth of the brand itself. Sure. So say you're Airbnb and you have 90% of branded search. And I think Airbnb does have a very high percentage of branded search. So if you have 90% of branded search and Airbnb is only growing from a brand awareness perception of 10% a year, that 90% is only going to grow by 10%. Whereas if that other 10%, the non-branded, if they can build more SEO, maybe they can grow that 10% bucket by 400%, right? So like there are SEO things you can do. Growing Airbnb's branded percentage by 
but that would require a lot. I don't even know what they could do to grow that by 400%. Now sure. they've already, they've already done the biggest things. They've taken out ads in the Super Bowl. They've sponsored everything possible. So there is no 400% there, but there certainly is a 400%, 1000%, a 10,000%. I've seen that before on that non-branded bucket. Again, depends on the baseline. 